I love this green G10. Like, I, I you guys nailed it with that. I, I like the way that looks. They have a black version also, but um, it's green with the red scales. I was like, oh yeah. Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on you. What is up guys, Average Gear Reviewer here, back with another video for you. Um, quick little unboxing. In this video, I've got something uh, really cool from Hermet to show you, and also I've got a really good deal. Um, I've got a coupon right now on these. Uh, you can go to Amazon and get them for 35% off. This is normally a $59 knife. You can grab them for like $38 right now if you hit the link in the description down below. But uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, can't wait to get into this and take a look at it. It looks like a really cool little knife. Um, it's a little bit larger than the Rhino. So uh, yeah, can't wait to take a look at that. You know, as always, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Come back and watch another one. If you're a returning viewer, great to see you again. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, and we're over here at the top down view and let's get into this box. I know you guys are dying to see this knife. I'm dying to take it out of here. Um, like I said, this video is going to be a little bit rushed because I really want to get this out so you guys can take advantage of this sale. Like a super good deal on these for 35% uh, off on Amazon. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description down below if you want to grab one for yourself. You know, if you've gotten any Remet knives before, they come in a nice little canvas case, which I think is super cool. Uh, fleece lining. And another thing that I like that they do, which this is sort of above and beyond to me, but they do send you um, an Allen key with your knife. Uh, it has a T6 and a T8 normally, I think. And so, you know, that's super handy if you need to uh, make any kind of adjustments to your knife. It's, what do you think? Should we check out the cloth? All right, and it comes with a decent, just a basic little microfiber cloth there. And the knife itself, oh man. That's when I saw this green colorway on this thing, I was just like, oh, that is nice. And it is really, really nice looking right out of the box. That is beautiful color of green. I like the milling lines on it so you can see the and the these red liners that are orange I can't tell if that's red or orange um, either way the liners I really love that the way that they stand out that looks so cool so this is a uh, 14c28 in blade uh, got g10 handles here a couple of different ways of deployment you can use the thumb stud and it looks like it's got a titanium thumb stud on it. Or you can use the front flipper. And it snaps right out there. Very nice. Just kind of giving it a, a, a little look over here. I, you know, I'm seeing it for the first time along with you guys. So really, really I love this green G10. Like... I, I, you guys nailed it with that. I, I like the way that looks. They have a black version also, but um, it's green with the red scales. I was like, oh yeah. I got to check that out. Got a nice, thick, nested steel liner there. That is a good, thick bar. Um, looks like it's getting about a, almost a 50% lock up there. So that's nice. There's no jimping or anything on the bar either, but it, it's very easy to depress. Oh man, yeah, it's got some snappy action to it. A uh, bit of a heavy detent, but it is, it will drop shut. Sorry about that, my ring light quit on me yet again. Anyway, um, I actually don't remember what I was saying now. Um, but yeah, it's got a, a titanium collar around the pivot. It does have a captive pivot, I like that. I really like that. Um, and the pivot looks like it's a T8. We'll check that. The uh, body screws look like they're T6s. A little bit different design to the clip here than uh, what you see a lot of times on knives. This one, um, 
the way that the screws are mounted above the top of the clip. That's kind of different. So uh, not a very deep cherry pocket clip. And that's a really small clip on that, but it, it seems okay. We'll have to see how it, um, how it rides in the pants and everything, but uh, it seems okay. And you do have a back spacer back here. It feels like um, might be aluminum, might be, that's a G10. Okay, yeah, it's got a G10 back spacer back here with some jimping, and it does have a lanyard hole if you need one. Um, not any other standoffs or anything that I can see in it, though. Um, just the backspacer and the pivot, I guess. And you can see full steel liners go all the way. And uh, nice thick liners, too. This is sort of a little tank of a knife. And I love the curve of the shape of it. I like that. It's got a little bit different grip to it. Um, if you can see here the way that it's contoured, it's almost made to put two fingers in here and the rest of your hand goes there, which is a little different. Um, it gives you a, a, more, a little more of a blade forward feel to it. Um, and you do have some jimping back here on the back of the blade. I'd like to have seen that continued up a little further. You know, uh, see Kaiser, <laughs> for examples. Uh, Kaiser does a great job with their jimping. It goes like, you know, most of there's like halfway down the blade. But anyway, we're not talking about Kaisers. We're talking about this Remit. Um, looks like you got a, uh, I think it's a stonewash and then satin finish on the uh, 14C28N. And um, let's get into, uh, let me get this stuff off the table here. And we'll, uh, we'll take a look at some measurements on this thing. Get into some. So the wild species, they're saying that it has a 3.55 inch blade. And that is maybe to the back here. Um, looks like you've got a cutting length of about three point, a little over three and a quarter for uh, the cutting length there. Blade itself is um, a little bit of, about an inch wide here at the tip and widens out to about an inch and a quarter. Um, you can see the scales are not super thick. Looks like you're running about half an inch there. That's the total width. So, uh, yeah. And um, let's see. Three point, three and a quarter inch. Let's just call it three and a quarter. And just shy of eight inches. So seven and seven eighths inches long. Um, so yeah, kind of gives you an idea of the size of it. Uh, speaking of which, let's do some size comparisons. I did want to, um, I did want to first take a look at it next to the Rhino, the Remet Rhino. And you can see this one's a, quite a bit larger. Uh, just not, not just the uh, blade length, but also in the scale length and a little bit different design too. This one's got more of the forward swept, whereas the uh, Rhino sort of has the flat back. Um, and you can see the blades are a little bit longer. This is, uh, this is the Remet Rhino liner lock version. This one's the button lock. This is the liner lock. Um, so this one actually has a three, I think it's just a little over three inch blade. And this one has like a 3.15 inch blade. So yeah, I'm going to say this is right at three and a quarter. But you can see how it compares to the other, some of the other Remets and uh, some of the other knives in their lineup. Um, you know, this one is a little bigger than I was thinking. I, I got out the, uh, bug out for size comparison and, uh, but I got it still pretty close. I got to say, um, just as far as the overall length, uh, let's look at the Fiderco Para 3. The Para 3's handles really, um, add a lot to its length. You know, the blade's not very long, but the, it's got the, those big old handles on it. So, uh, yeah, you can see how it compares to those. Um, let's see. I wanted to look at it next to the uh, Trevisa Columba. Okay, so, yeah, the Columba is a little bit bigger. But this is another knife that's in that same, um, with the discount range, of uh, that $39 range. Uh, let's see. Look at that Concept Integra that we just got. 
just did an unboxing video on this one. I, I really like this knife. Um, so the Integra is a little bit larger. Um, let's look at it next to the uh, Iridium, Kershaw Iridium. Let's see how they, yeah, real, real close to the size of the Iridium. Um, you know, a little bit beefier, thicker of a blade, and this one has more of a sort of a slimmer, tapered down type of pokey kind of blade. But um, overall, they're about the same same length. Um, let's see the, uh, but next to, you know, my favorite, the old Flatanium Arcade. And, uh, yeah, so you can see there where it falls into the uh, EDC categories there as far as the sizes, um, how it compares to some of the other knives out there. But, uh, yeah, I like it. Um, let's, let's do a quick little post-it note cut test here. What do you say? I try to get this at a good angle for you guys, but, oh, my goodness. That thing is sharp. Woo! It, so it hit the adhesive on the paper there. That's what happened on that one, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, this thing is razor sharp. Ooh, my goodness. So, yeah, you make, you definitely make confetti with it. So, yeah, guys, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. I wanted to just make a quick video. You know, this is just an unboxing. It's not a review at all. You know, I'm just getting my hands on it. I haven't had a chance to really, you know, check it out and uh, develop a uh, concrete opinion on it. First impressions, I like it. It's got a nice snappy action to it. Really good lockup on the liner lock there. And um, you can see blade is perfectly centered in there. I love the captive pivot, the titanium hardware. Guys, for $39, this knife is a steal. I'm just going to say it. For $39, this knife is a steal. Make sure and hit that link down below and grab one while they last. I don't know how long that's going to be going on. So um, as of the making of this video, and that is June 8th of 2024, they are $38 with the coupon. And I don't know if that coupon's available everywhere, but for sure... Uh, the Amazon affiliate link that I have below, it definitely is uh, on there. So if you want to pick one up, I would I would say if you've thought about getting one of these before, if you've looked at it, I, I would say pull the trigger. Um, that's a that's a very good price, and and for the size of the knife and the materials that you're getting, um, the nice G10, nice milled G10 handles with the dual colored spacer, nice. Uh, nice thick liners, 14C 28N blade, titanium hardware. I mean, come on, guys. It's kind of hard to beat. Uh, and it is sharp as a razor right out of the box. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you uh, liked the, uh, the knife. Let me know what you think about the wild species down below or any of the Romette knives. If you've got any of the Romette knives, let me know what you think about those in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I've had great, I just want to brag on Remet for a second. I've had great dealings with Remet so far. Um, their customer service is, is on point. And, and, uh, so yeah, shout out, huge shout out to Remet on that one. Um, this knife was not sent to me. I did buy this on my own, so it wasn't provided by them. Um, they have sent me a knife before, uh, they sent me the, uh, Remet Rhino liner lock version. Uh, to take a look at and I did an unboxing on that if you want to check that video out that's a super solid little knife too um, but yeah for $39 um, I don't know where else you're going to find this combination of materials and um, and just build quality you know I'll have to see how it holds up over time and you know out of the box they're always a little bit stiffer um, but uh, yeah still jumps right out there very nicely Nice little snap out with authority. So anyway, guys, if you like the video, please leave me a like down below. Uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting on. Hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of future content. If you want to help us out over here at Average Gear Review, consider becoming a gearhead. Uh, channel memberships are up now and uh, you can join for as low as 99 cents a month. Um, love to have you over there. And, um, you know, like I always say, guys, always be caring. And remember, the best gear is the gear you have on you. 
Average Gear Reviewer is out of here. Average Gear Review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.